the one reason that we historically had put you know kind of a, a preference on the predefined fields is there used to be these are the only ones that were searchable. Um, we've since included that, so now you can actually search custom fields as well. Uh, but the other nice thing is if you have a list view of mixed item types, using the predefined fields allows those all to show up in the same view. So if I've got a priority on a requirement, I've got a priority on a feature, if you put them in a mixed list, a mixed item type list in the UI, that'll show up underneath the same field um, in your list view. Uh, the other things to consider about predefined uh, is these names are easier to find, so if you're doing any API work, uh, it's easy to look at the field name and know exactly what you're pulling from. Um, having the predefined fields are all going to be the same name. Uh, you can accomplish similar things by naming all of your custom fields the same way, uh, but you know it's a little bit harder to kind of manage that. Uh, but the other thing to direct you towards predefined, obviously the predefined gives you a lot of different choices. Um, so there's a lot of system-driven fields that are really, if you put them on, it makes them visible, but such as, you know, create, modify, created by, these are all captured in the data, the metadata of the system. It's just whether or not you want it to be displayed <coughs> in your, in your, um, prod, or in your item type. Uh, then lookup fields, strings, text, these are all content that you would be adding as a user. Flags, look up, string, flags, da, 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 get down to the bottom. There's a couple more. Um, so again, you can, these are more system-driven fields that you can add. It's really just for visibility into your item, whether or not you want to add those onto the item. Uh, otherwise, you can always access these fields. If you note, um, you can access them uh, when you do list views. It, these are fields that are available because they're core fields that are to the, to the item type and captured in the metadata. Um, the custom fields, uh, I might as well go through these because some of you may not have seen all of these if you're either uh, on-prem and haven't updated in a while uh, or if you're hosted and you just haven't looked at some of our <laughs> release notes. So there's a couple of new ones in here. Uh, but multi if you're looking for specific functionality, the custom fields is where you're going to have to go to find some of the things that you can't do in a predefined, uh, like multi-selects, um, item of types, you can do text, flags, integer. These are all custom. These are all predefined fields. URL uh, is a custom. Let's see, text box, user, click list. Um, and then the last two down here. These are newer fields that we've added recently um, to our feature set. Rollup fields are they're they're pretty they're pretty sweet. I think I've seen a lot of people, especially in agile environments, use this. But if you've got a certain level of hierarchy in your project, say you've got features that have uh, user stories associated or epics that have user stories or requirements that have uh, specifics, you know, whatever the level of hierarchy are. I can report on the the upstream item what the status is of the collective of items associated with the down with uh, to the downstream item. So if, if I've got a feature, I can roll up the status of all the user stories underneath that and report it on the, the epic item. Um, so it's a pretty nice little handy summary that allows you to see um, you know, st I say status, but you can use any pixel uh, list that you want to, to report on a, on a parent item. And then calculated fields, again, was uh, originally directed towards agile teams. So uh, there's a couple of different things you can calculate. But essentially, um, you can do some basic average sum, multiply sum. And then this is the one I'm talking about for agile teams, weighted sort of shop first, which is essentially a weighted average that you can calculate on your item. So it helps you to do prioritization. It helps you to do some uh, calculations on your item if you're doing risk analysis. Uh, some of those things that you need to have some something to calculate and, and uh, based on other fields on this item. Or the other nice thing it does is it actually will allow you to calculate based on related items too. So you can look at, uh, again, related items downstream or upstream and, and do a calculation on a parent or child item. So some of those might be new to you. Uh, so that is, those are the things that would drive you to custom versus predefined is if you need that other fix functionality. Um, but again, some of the reasons you might want to do predefined is, is that, that conformity across the item types and the um, you know, ability to kind of share that uh, item when you're doing API calls as well.